ITT Technical Institute is now on the verge of closing its 130 campuses across the country, including here in Indiana. It lost its accredit accreditation and can no longer enroll students receiving federal aid. Now, the school has six Indiana locations that are part of the investigations that are focused on finances, management, and recruitment. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills found even former students are now waiting for the next shoe to drop. We've tried and haven't been able to talk to anyone with ITT. Not here, not at their other campus, not at their Carmel-based headquarters. But we did talk to one former student and employee who had plenty to say. Not surprised at all. Um, it's probably been a long time coming. When I went to school here, the teachers tried their best, but they were frankly handcuffed by the administration. Matt didn't want to go on camera, but did agree to talk to us outside the Pike Township campus where he earned a degree in 2005, one he's not exactly proud of. Their admission process was a joke. They had this admission test where if you didn't pass it, you could just repeatedly take the same test over and over again. You only had to wait 15 minutes in taking the test. So they just wanted to get people in to charge them money. Matt says his two years here cost him 40 grand. I know students who got spent four years here who spent $80,000. After graduating, Matt says he worked at ITT headquarters. You could tell the atmosphere at the, that the CEO set uh, filtered down to the schools. It was all about, you know, it was all about money. You know, in the 80s, this was probably, you know, a great institution, but it just got micromanaged nickel and dime to death. Years later, Matt is still connected to ITT and still paying off 20000 in student loans for a degree he fears is worthless. But at least now, he has hope. Because of all this going on, I found out I might be able to get my loans forgiven, my federal loans forgiven. Um, so I'm currently working on that path see if I can get, get out of some, some of this debt. Obviously a lot of frustration, question, and concern among both current and former students wondering what's next, what does this mean for me. We have put together some information that could be helpful. All you have to do is go to WTHR.com. Right now though, Andrea, pretty much a waiting game.